Blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast. Call a sacred assembly. Joel chapter 2 verse 15. Welcome to Why We Praise for our Elul 2020 observance. I'm Lori, and this is my co-anchor, whose name means God is my judge. Hi, I'm Daniel, and well, I'm pretty sure that would be true even if my name was something else. And before everyone starts looking up the meaning of their names, let's offer up some praises to the Lord. For the United States, we praise the Lord for New Hampshire. The mountains are the most striking feature of New Hampshire's landscape. There are about 1,500 classified elevations, including several peaks in the White Mountains. The best known is Mount Washington at 6,288 feet, the third highest peak in the country east of the Mississippi River. On April 12, 1934, an observatory there recorded a world record wind speed of 231 miles per hour. More than four-fifths of New Hampshire is under the forest cover. The purple lilac was first imported from England and since 1919 is the state flower of New Hampshire. New Jersey is called the Garden State because it became famous in the 18th century for the fertility of its land. The urban density of its northeast contrasts sharply with the rugged hills of the northwest, the enormous stretches of pine forest in the southeast, and the rolling and lush horse country in the south-central part of the state. Virtually all of the plant life that is common to the northeastern United States can be found in New Jersey, and many rare plant species grow in the marshes and pine forests, including some insect-ingesting plants. New Jersey's state flower, the common blue violet, can be found everywhere in the state and well beyond. Around the world we praise the Lord for Mali. Mali is situated mostly in the Saharan region. Mali is largely flat and arid. The Niger River flows through its interior, functioning as the main trading and transport artery in the country. Sections of the river flood periodically, providing much-needed fertile agriculture soil along its banks as well as creating pasture for livestock. We cannot find a distinctive floral reference for Mali, but we hope you enjoy this shot of the Niger River through Mali. Malta comprises five islands and a couple uninhabited islets. The main physical characteristic of the island of Malta is a well-defined escarpment that bisects it along the Victoria Lines Fault, running along the whole breadth of the island. Because of tectonic activity, Malta has been tilted in a northerly direction, producing cliffs of about 800 feet on the south and southwestern coasts, while slopes descend to low cliffs and rocky shores on the northern and eastern coasts. The Maltese Centuary is endemic to Malta, where it has been the national plant since 1973. The Marshall Islands are composed of more than 1,200 islands and ILS in two parallel chains of coral atolls, the Ratak or Sunrise to the east and the Ralik or Sunset to the west. The chains lie about 125 miles apart. None of the 29 low-lying coral atolls and five coral islands in the Marshall Group rise to more than 20 feet above high tide. The islands are coral caps set on the rims of submerged volcanoes rising from the ocean floor. The national flower of the Marshall Islands is the red frangipani. Much of Mauritania encompasses part of the Sahara Desert. The country's mineral wealth includes large reserves of iron ore, copper, and gypsum. In the greater part of the country, the plateaus are cut into the Wadi's dry riverbed where the rare floods that occur dissipate their waters into a few permanent drainage basins called Gwelt. Northward, toward the middle of the country, the steppe rapidly disappears, giving way to desert. The floral Mauritanian Malo is the official national flower of Mauritania. The island of Mauritius is volcanic in origin and is almost entirely surrounded by coral reefs. The northern part is a plain that rises to the central plateau. Varying in elevation from about 900 to 2,400 feet above sea level, the plateau is bordered by small mountains that may have formed the rim of an ancient volcano. Trochetia botaniana was declared the national flower on the 12th of March 1992 when Mauritius achieved the status of republic. Mexico is located in one of the Earth's most dynamic tectonic areas. It is a part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region of active volcanism and frequent seismic activity. Among its towering volcanic peaks are the Orizaba, which forms the highest point in the country, and the active volcano Popocatepetl, 
Capitol, <laughs> the largely volcanic Sierra Madre Occidental, which forms the western border of the Mexican Plateau, has an average elevation of eight to 9,000 feet and extends roughly 700 miles from north to south. The Dahlia was declared the National Flower of Mexico in 1963. Micronesia is composed of more than 600 islands and islets in the Caroline Island groups. The islands are of two general types, high volcanic islands that support a large variety of plant forms and low-lying coral atolls with poor soil. On the high islands, mangrove swamps grow along the shore and grasslands or shrub ascend to tropical rainforests in the interior mountain areas. On coral atolls, the predominant forms of vegetation are the coconut palm along with pandanus and breadfruit trees. The Micronesian national flower is the hibiscus. Why do we praise? O oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you, I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1 Let's raise our hearts together in praise to the Lord today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all your wonderful many blessings and what we see you doing around the earth. Our verses today remind us to blow the trumpet in Zion and our whole country is coming together to fast and pray as everyone seems to look forward to the sacred assemblies coming up here in uh, September and October starting with the Feast of Trumpets in about 10, 11 days maybe. And for the first time since Israel became a nation again, they've petitioned to blow the shofar on the Temple Mount. And we know that you're watching over that situation and we lift that up to you, Lord, in all things that you will be honored and praised above all. Just like it says in Isaiah, we will praise your name for you have done wonderful things. Oh, and your faithfulness and truth is awesome. And we depend on it so much. And we're praising you for your handiwork in New Hampshire and New Jersey for the United States, as well as Mali, Malta, Marshall Islands, Mauritania, Mauritius, Mexico, and Micronesia around the world. Heavenly Father, these are beautiful places, beautiful souls in them. And we praise you and thank you for them all. In your precious and holy Son's name, Jesus. Amen. Do you feel the world is broken? Do you feel the shadows deepen? But do you know? It's all creation groaning. It is. There's a new creation coming. It is. It's the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst. It is. Is it good that we remind ourselves of this?
Does the Father truly love us? He does. Does the Spirit move among us? He does. And does Jesus our Messiah hold forever those He loves? He does. Does our God intend to dwell again? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah, who conquered the grave, he is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. God, be merciful to us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that your way may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations on earth, Selah. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you, then the earth shall yield her increase. God, our own God, shall bless us, God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him.